You know, it's a really nice town you picked here, Norma, to uh, start a new life and all. Stop you know? calling me Norma. Dylan is kind of an, an outcast of the family. He has no money. He has nowhere to go. And where do you go when, when you are out of those two things? You go home. Hey, Mom. He's tracked her down. And so the moment she opens the door is that discovery of where, oh, he's found her. They have definitely a bond between the two of them. But at the same time, they're constantly battling and butting heads because they are too similar. There's got to be a part of her that is happy to see him. But for the most part, <laughs> she, it's a relationship she dreads. Norman's a little put off, I guess, by the fact that, that Dylan's returned. He knows that they don't want him in the house anymore. And he's going to call her out on her bluff again and say, listen, I know everything. And, and don't mess with me. Norman sees a, a call coming to Dylan uh, from the whore. Apparently the whore is calling you. When Dylan picks up the phone, he says, hi, Norma. And Norman just can't cope with the idea that his brother is calling his own mom a whore. Don't you ever call her a whore! At that moment, Dylan realizes that maybe Norman isn't quite as weak as he thought. This town looks really beautiful on the outside, but underneath it is something very dark and malevolent. It's my dad's car. Dad! We slowly discover that um, there's a lot of illegal activity going on in this town. I think you realize that it's an eye for an eye. There's this drug culture that exists in this town, and that drug culture is really fueling the economy. This town has its own way of handling things. There's something here you need to see. There are some very desperate people that are in the world of our show, and their desires lead them to the darkest places imaginable. What's this? When Emma finds drawings of these girls who are sex slaves, she and Norman start to realize just how deep the criminal activity in this town goes. That's Ladyface. It's a mountain just outside of White Pine Bay. It really exists. Norman, it's a shed from the pictures. We can't stop now. The shed matches the picture in the book, and so suddenly Emma realizes, oh my gosh, maybe this is real. Maybe this girl really exists. 